Hey guys, the objective for this video is just to clarify how we find head in a system like this, okay? I just want to clarify because it can be kind of complex how we actually find head sometimes and a bit confusing. And I also need to clarify a mistake I made in the previous video. In the previous video, I said I put A up there. A needs to be down here. So point A is here and point B is here. And the reason is because that's where the flow actually goes from. It goes from point A to point B. Okay, so that's just a small clarification. Okay, but we're gonna now clarify how we find head because it can be quite confusing. So the first thing we need to do as always is define a datum. So we're gonna put our datum down here. Doesn't matter where you put your datum, you just need to put it in a convenient spot, which is down here for us. Okay, so our datum starts here. Now head, we can think of in two ways. Okay, we're gonna define it in two ways. The first way is we need to ask how high, so how high does water go if we were to stick a standpipe? If we were to stick a standpipe, how high would the water go above the datum? Okay, it needs to be above the datum. So using this method, let's go find the head. So if we were to stick a standpipe at this point, the water would rise up to a point 0.5 meters, okay, because there's no there's no pressure anywhere forcing this water up higher. So the height the water would go above the datum would be 0.5 meters, okay? So that's the head at B would be 0.5 meters. Now the head at A, this is a bit trickier. If we were to stick a standpipe, so I'm going to my point A, the standpipe starts at point A, the water would rise up just to the surface of the water, right? It would just because no, once again, there's no pressure anywhere in this forcing the water to go up higher. We don't have like say a pressure at A forcing this water up any higher. So it will just rise up to the uh, static, static, the static surface of the water table. Okay. Now, the, the head though is how high the water goes in a standpipe above the datum. Okay. So this goes two meters above the soil surface here, but we need to find it above the datum. So we need to know that total height above the datum, okay? So we'd have to scale off from our diagram where one centimeter equals one meter, that was the scale we were using before. We'll come measure this extra additional height, which is one centimeter, so we can add on one meter. So this is an extra one meter, which means that the head at A would be one meter plus two meter, because that is the height the water would go if we were to stick a standpipe above the datum. Okay, not the surface of where it's at, but the datum. So it's one plus two, which is three meters. Okay, now we can define, we can find the head another way. We can think of it as just the definition of head, where head equals Z plus the pore water pressure on gamma water. Okay, so if we were to find the head at B using this method, the head at B would be the height above the datum. So that's just Okay, so the head of, so the, the, because we're at the datum, the head the uh, z value is zero. Okay, and the pore water pressure now because we're at a sorry because it, at point b there's water above it because b is at, at the bottom here. We have 0.5 meters of water above us. Okay, so this would be 0 0.5 times 9.81. That would give us the pressure of water. This is the same thing as rho g z hydrostatic pressure over gamma of water, which is 9.81, okay? So this would cancel out, and we'll be left with 0 0.5, okay? Which is the same value we got for head of B using this method. Now the head at A, similarly, would use this formula, Z plus pore water pressure on gamma water. So point A, as we scaled off before, is one meter above the datum, so that's the elevation. So we have one meter plus, now, the pressure at point A, so the pressure at the bottom, is a buildup of the water pressure above us. So that's two meters of pressure. So it's two by 9.81. So that's the pressure divided by 9.81. Okay, similarly, these two things would cancel to give us one plus two. So one plus two, which would equal three meters. Okay, we get the exact same answers, 0.5 and three. Right, and then once again, we could find the total difference in head using either numbers, so 3 minus 0 0.5, which is 2.5 meters, okay, which is what we got in the previous video. So, 
I hope this clarifies how we find head. We can think of finding head in two ways. A, how high the water goes above the datum. Very important, it's the datum, not the surface of which you're at, but the datum. And the second way was using this formula, head equals Z plus pour water pressure on the gamma of water. Okay, I hope that helps. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the uh, previous exam example we did. We're going to be looking at how we find uh, different head values, different uh, pore water pressures, and different hyd hydraulic gradients within the system. Okay, hope that helps.